Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. So, we have a little ScreenFlow Photoshop, no, not Photoshop, Lightroom renaming techniques that I want to go into. I've done renaming in the past, but I want to go into why we rename and the importance of renaming and basically how to rename. So when you shoot a picture in your camera, if you've never changed your settings, it's probably DSC underscore 8043. You know, the the basically those numbers stand for your file, uh, the basic number that's our basic name that's already in the camera, and then the number, if you keep it resetting, is your basically shutter count, and it usually resets every 10,000 or every 9,999. When you hit the next one, it goes back to zero or one. Um, if you've never renamed your files, that means there's the possibility that you have duplicate file names. Now that's not good if you you know are trying to find a certain file and you have duplicate names. That's just not good. What I recommend that you do in in your camera is that you always you go in there and you change the file name right away in the camera when you buy it. So it's not DSC. You can make your initials, you know, for me, JSP, which I usually don't do the S because I don't care for middle names. This isn't a rant on middle names, but usually I did like JPA. And then when it got to 10,000, I did JPB. But the thing is, I don't go by those, those uh, file names for long. I bring them in the Lightroom. And when I bring them in the Lightroom, I... They come in under a, a name that they are already at. So in this case, we have Lil playing bingo, and uh, it says JPZ001. Now, I don't want that. I want to rename it. So this is how we're going to rename it. You select all. You can do edit, select all, library. You can do rename photos. That's in the Mac. I usually hit F2 or Command F2 to do this. So. It brings up your rename, it's going to say rename 21 photos, how do I want to do the file names? I'm going to edit this and I want to do it myself. So this is the format I use. I use year, it was 2010, month was 04, so April 30th, underscore, lil, for so I know what it is, and then bingo, and then one more underscore, and then I custom set the sequence number to go in. So it's going to do a sequence 001 through 00, you know, to 021 for this case because there's 21 photos. Uh, if you have, usually you're going to have under a thousand photos during a photo shoot, but if you're going to have more, then say for a wedding, I started at 0001. I go to the fourth letter number, fourth number. Um, so why do we rename things this way? One, for organizational purposes. It's easier to find something uh, when it's organized. Now, why do I start with the year first? Well, I start with the year first because if you started with the month first, you could then have duplicate months there. So if I did a shoot on April 30th of 2009, they would be stacked together. Now, that makes it very hard to find a photo for um, if you're searching for something. So this way you have the year, so everything goes by the year, the month, the day. I use underscores because dashes and dots and periods aren't good. Dashes are always going to be recognized by computers. Uh, and a good rule of thumb is you want to try to keep the whole file name under 30 characters. Uh, somebody told me that. I don't remember why you keep it under 30 characters, but I think anything over, you start to get into possible reading issues in the future. Um, so now that I've renamed this sequence, Lil playing bingo, I hit done and I hit OK and it, there it goes. It renamed everything. It renamed everything. So here we have 2010-04-30 Lil Bingo 002. So there you go. That's how you rename the files. Um, it's very important to rename the files and keep them organized. Uh, it just helps yourself find things. And if you have duplicate files, it's just not good to have DSC001 and then you reset your camera and then you have DSC001 and you try to bring it into Lightroom. It's going to tell you that you have duplicate files, duplicate file names. So that's really important to rename your files. And doing, doing it in this way gets you in the habit of changing your file names. Uh, you start to know where things go. You can see here on the left-hand side 
that I have a whole list. You know, it starts to get harder over time, but there's ways to make other um, catalogs, which I'll explain in the future what each one of those is. But I like just having everything here. I can see how many photos are in the file. I can see the name, who it was, uh, things like that, and the date. And usually I'm pretty good at finding what I was looking for. So that's how to rename your files. That's why we rename our files. And if there are any questions, you can always leave me a comment and I will possibly make you a video. So for now, froknowsphoto.com, Jared Poland, see ya.